Okay, guys, can I um, have everybody's attention? Please don't watch the board. I just said, I will slow down. This is uh, can be a bit confusing at the beginning. Last lesson, a few days ago, we did some kind of situation, if you guys remember. Last lesson, when we did it, we, which method did we use? Substitution, very good, yeah? So today we are still dealing with simultaneous equation, but absolutely not a new method, to nothing to do with substitution. From completely different angle to look at how to solve simultaneous equation. We're gonna do a few, quite a few examples today. Let's look at the first one. Whenever we see simultaneous equation, we got two, two equations, right? That's why we would call it simultaneous, because it happened at the same time. So we got one equation, we got another equation. Now, let's have a look. I'm going to ask some uh, quite a few important questions first before I do the working out, okay? Have a look at equation one and equation two and focus on the coefficient of x. I repeat, coefficient of x. What does a coefficient mean? Anyone, anybody still remember? Yeah. The number next The number before the letter, yeah, very good. What's number before the letter? What's number before x for equation one? One. One, very good. What's the number before x for equation two? Minus, Minus one, very good. Okay, bear that in mind. What's the um, coefficient for y? Negative, 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 or negative, or five. very good, okay. We got one, negative one. We got negative two, five. So the key thing with this method is we are looking at the coefficient of the letter. Okay, that's one thing to bear in mind. Second thing that's happened to, what does the word elimination mean in English? What does it mean? Get rid of. Oh, perfect, yeah, that's actually the word I was looking for. Get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of x or Get rid of y. That's the idea to make the equation basically looks easier. Okay. Now let's have a look. Whether I get rid of x or I get rid of y doesn't matter at all. It's totally up to you. It's your choice, right? Now, but in cases like this, to get rid of one variable, it's easier than to get rid of the other. For example, I've got one. I've got minus one. If I plus them together, what do I get? Zero. Who said that? Zero? Perfect, Joe. Very good. It's zero. I'll just repeat again. One. Can you guys visualize this in your head? If I plus them together, it's zero. That is the most important key idea of today's. Once it's zero, it's disappeared. It's gone. Am I right? So I have to achieve the purpose of eliminate x. Does that make sense? Okay, so once we have made the decision, we're going to get rid of x. Then we're going to write down the proper working out now. So let's go equation one plus equation two. This, by the way, I think I, I say that last lesson, this one and two does not mean anything, it's just a name, okay? Don't write down equal to equations three. I'm joking. Okay. Is it okay so far? Now I'm going to plus equation one, equation two together, which means I'm going to plus the left hand side with left hand side, the right hand side with the right hand side. So as soon as I write down this, these two already disappear. Can you, is it, a bit, um, you were able to visualize it in your head? x plus minus x is already gone because x plus minus x is what is it? Zero. 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 Then I've achieved the purpose of eliminate. Get rid of. X is already gone. Now that's what I want. Is it okay? Bear with me. We're going to do a few examples. It will become more clear after that. So these two already gone. Now minus 2y plus 5y. That's left hand side plus left hand side. Equals the Three right hand side plus right hand side. One plus two. Now, 
do you agree with me that solving this is much quicker and much easier than solving the original one? Three. What's my minus 2y plus 5y? Uh, 3y. You agree? So y equals 1. Beautiful. 3y equals 3, y equals 1. How quick is that? Not yet, not yet. Just focus on the uh, explanation part. I will give you time to write this down after. Yeah? Hands be so. Sorry. Ah, so good. Y equals 1. Well, now, once I, put, once I get the answer already, just like a few days ago, when we did the substitution, I need to go back to put all, to put here, here or here to find the x, right? Now, which one you put? Now, from here, doesn't really matter now. Sometimes there's a, a quick and easy choice because of the fraction and all that, but this one doesn't really matter. Let's just say if I put it into equation one. So back in here now. So x minus two times, what's y? One. Very good. X minus two is one, x is three. Then we completely finish. Mm -hmm. Again, just like a few days ago, we said we're going to make the final conclusion. Therefore, x equals three, y is one, is my final answer. Now in the exam, you do a quick check. X is what? What, what do you get? X is? Three. three. Y is? One. Two times one is three. Three minus two is? Come one. on, three minus two is? One. Which means your answer is correct. Yeah? Yep. So yep. I'm going to do a few more examples and um, it's hopefully after that. Okay, it's three. Oh, sorry. I better. It's one of the colors. Three x minus two y equals five. This one is a bit different, but we need to see a variety of examples. Then after that, you will see why I choose these, these examples, right? Now here, let's focus on again. Here is one minus one. I plus them together because one plus minus one. I plus them together, the x disappear. Yeah, that's what I did, right? Have a look at here. Again, after that, I'm going to give you time to write it up, right? Just listen to the explanation. I'll write down this first because I know I will need it. The name I will need it, right? Have a look. Focus on the coefficient. Three, five. I can't add, I can't subtract, right? Three plus five is not zero. Three minus five is not zero. So the x part is not helpful. Have a look at y. Minus two, minus two. What did I tell you? They can or they can't? They can. They can, how? So same number, think, think about like this. If that's if that's four, that's four. Four minus four. Zero. Minus two minus minus two. Zero. Minus two minus minus two is zero. Zero. Because minus two plus two is zero. Well done. Yeah? That's how I get rid of y. Does it make sense? So this question I plus them together. This question I need to minus. Does that make sense or no? Yeah. So this, this question, I'm doing that. So let's say equation one minus equation two. Uh, left hand side minus left hand side, right hand side minus right hand side. Question. Why can't you just do two, equation two minus one? I can do that as well, yep. Yep, doesn't matter which one you do. The idea is to get rid of y. Yep, I can. And I will probably do what you say as well. Because this minus this is positive. This minus this is positive. This minus this is negative. I try to avoid negative where possible. To avoid potential mistake. Well done. Yep. Does it make sense? But the idea is subtraction. Yep. Yep. Good. So let's do that. 5x minus 3x. 2x. 2x. The y already disappeared. You don't have to worry about that anymore. 11 minus 5. 16. 
Oh. Oh, uh, six. Six. X equals three. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> no. Plus. You can see that this one. Let's say it's four or three. You can see this one. That this part is much quicker than original, right? One second X. I put back to the original. Doesn't matter which one. So we did try one just now. This this time we tried two. Five times three. 5 times 3 minus 2y is 11 15 minus 2y is 11 15 minus what is 11? Uh, 2 15 minus what is 11? 4, four right? Which means 2y is 4 two. <laughs> y is 2 Yeah Now you make your conclusion x is 3 y is 2 Now can I say that I know some of you We'll be able to do this in your head, it's easy. 15 minus 2y. But still write down the substitution process is five times three. Is that okay? Sure. These two are relatively easy example. I know it's new content, but they are considered as easy example. After that, I'm going to jump in a little bit harder one. Question first, yes. Oh, sorry, my bad. Of course, this one minus this one, equation two minus equation one. Sorry, yeah. Is that your question? Yeah. Excellent, you. sorry about that. Yep. What happens when they can't necessarily cancel each other out? Very good, that's example three. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean by, hey, shh. That's what I mean by a little bit harder one. Yeah, very good, yep. Yeah. You know how you did the second equation to find the y? Mm -hmm. Can you also do the first one to find yeah. the y? Yep, yeah. you can. Yeah, you can. Totally doesn't matter. I just thought I did. I did some back to one. This time I'll do two. Just to show how the move would work. Okay. Now I'm going to do example three now, which is basically your question. What if they cannot cancel? Uh, I'll write on this part. Five x plus two y equals this. X plus seven y. We're pretty much there. It's a little bit harder one. Two more examples and then we're done, right? Mm. Provided people understand. I'm going to write down one and two straight away because I know I need to use the names. Back to this one. I look at the coefficient. Oh, one minus one. I know I can add them. When the number is the same, minus two minus two. I know I can subtract them. Can we see the hints? When the number is the same, one, one, but different sign, positive, negative, I add. I mentioned something almost like the key summary now. When the number is the same, exactly the same, minus two, minus two, I subtract. Same number subtract becomes zero, right? That's what we want. Back to this tricky one. Five, one, two, seven. Oops, I can't do anything yet, right? Because they a different number. So in this case, when it happens, I need to do something to make them the same number, basically. With my readiness. Okay. Okay. Very quick way to do that is five here. If I can make this number five. Problem solved. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. I'll just times by five then. Times by five everywhere to make to make that number five. Do you agree? So I'm going to do, watch me carefully, this is the important part. I'm going to do equation two times five. The purpose is I want to make the number five. All good? Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Five X. 7 times 5, 35y. That times 5, 1, 2, 5. I call that equation 3. Is that okay? I'm not going to worry about equation 2 anymore. Because now I'm looking at... That, that is the 5 I want. That's why I times by 5. Is that okay or no? Okay, I'm going to form my new pair of simultaneous equation question. Um, using that method, could you technically, if they had 
then we would practice. Let's say say it was like um it was like three y in in like equation one, and it was like fifteen y in like equation two. Could you like use the same factors mm. for this? Yep. Good. I'll I'll do another example um later for the one you mentioned. Okay. Now I've got five. I got five. That's what I want, right? I'm going to write down this now. So five x. I'm just copy down equation one. Copy down equation three. That's one. That's three. I'm not going to worry about my old one anymore. Sorry, they all gone. I'm going to focus on this one now. My mind and my eye. Look at this one now, right? Equation one. Equation three. 5x, 5x, how good is that? Cancel. Okay, so. 5 minus 5, 0. That's what I want. So you can do equation 1 minus equation 3, or you can do equation 3 minus equation 1. Doesn't matter at all. And I'm going to do what he has just suggested. I'm going to do this minus this. Why? Because this minus this is positive. And this minus this is negative. I try to avoid negative where possible. You can, and you still get a correct answer. But why choose the way that creates potential mistake, right? So let's do equation three minus equation one. Five x minus five x already disappeared. You don't have to write it, right? In your mind, that part is already gone. Thirty-five minus two. This minus this, one, two, five, minus, minus seven is one, two, five, plus seven, right? It's one, thirty-two. And I think this times four. This divided by this should be four, right? I did my head, I think that's, that's right? Yeah. Y equals four. By the way, with all the simultaneous equation we've done so far, can you see the number? I mean, the final answer is relatively nice, small integer. One, three, two, three, four. I haven't finished this one? Yeah? So in the exam, when you get not all like not all four, like in a really big large fraction, most likely you made a mistake somewhere. I'm not saying you, you must or you did. Maybe. Most likely. Right? You can see all the numbers are quite small. Nice small integer. Now okay, y equals four. Now I'm going back to find x. Should I go back to equation one or equation two? As a smarter choice. Y equals four. Should I go here or here? I'll go for two. Two reasons. Equation one, I got five. I got negative. Yeah? Equation two. I don't have anything before x. Nice positive yeah so there are sometimes there are wiser choice sometimes doesn't really matter but when you have done enough exercise you will see so y is 4 I put it in here x plus 7 times 4 is 25 now you can see pretty straightforward and there's no negative x plus 7 times 4 I can't do you know 28 things 25 x is negative 3. Make your conclusion. Well done. Thank you so much for mine.